Ever since I was a little kid, I like to look at maps and imagine all the places that I would travel to in the future. One of those places was the Great Barrier Reef, located off the eastern coast of Australia. So Daria and I decided to leave the northwest rains behind and take off on a long journey. Well, this is it. We traveled for over 30 hours, 20 of them in the air, to reach our destination. We're finally here. We're in a little town called Airly Beach and we're taking off for the Great Barrier Reef this morning. out to this pontoon which was like basically a floating dock in the middle of nowhere right by the edge of the reef. The pontoon here is equipped with all kinds of stuff. There's a scuba dive center and a snorkeling center. Um, there's an outside area right here for just tanning and relaxing. And, uh, there's a uh, kitchen actually on the actual boat where we came from and that serves food. So there's a lot of things to do here. But I think most people enjoy being in the water.
I went for a dive and then we snorkeled together. And we, that was fun. We always loved snorkeling together and showing each other, you know, pointing out certain things in the water. from our Great Barrier Reef adventure. We're sitting in a cafe here um, on the harbor, enjoying the view, enjoying some food. I think the highlights for me were seeing just so many different types of fish and seeing the reef and how it lives and how it greets all the coral. Um, the beautiful thing is it's the reef has grown so much up that it's very close to the surface so when it's sunny it's illuminated and so bright uh, when you snorkel right over it it's so colorful it's the most colorful snorkeling place that I, I've ever been to um, so um, that was wonderful scuba diving you could go in a little bit and things are a little bit more murky but I think visibility was still decent you saw bigger fish more schools of fish a lot of colorful little guys are right by the surface the really big fish crawl. Oh, the Maori wrasse, I think. Oh yeah. Those things were giant. We saw a few of those. And I can't believe how many like schools of dories I saw, though, yeah. whatever that fish is yeah. called. Yeah, the They're blue one. Right there, right there. Yeah. I think the amazing part is, is how in the middle of the ocean it is. And, yeah. And how hard it really is to get to. And yeah. That makes it that much more amazing. I also love um, just seeing those light blue colors in the middle of like a darker blue ocean as soon as you get to the reef it, the colors change and it's more greenish and just more light blue and it, there's like this pattern over the surface that just continues to the horizon it's stunning we're not done with the Sundays. we have a few more days here but that will be in another 